got to change my battery because as soon as I get started, this thing want to stop blinking. Don't try me today, baby. Okay, so let's try this again. I was so busy on Christmas, you guys. Oh my God, y'all. I have so many interruptions today. I don't even know what to do with myself, okay? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is your first time here, my name is Gwendolyn. This channel is all about fashion, lifestyle, and decor, home decor. Um, also, I hope you find something on this channel that you know suits you and that you will return and come back to visit me again. And if you are returning, you know already know, girlfriend, thank you so much for rocking with me. I appreciate you guys so much. So Christmas is finally over you guys and this is like my third take trying to do this video. I've been distracted with text messages, phone calls and all kind of stuff you guys. So it's been a rough start to getting this video off but here we go again. So Christmas is over. I spent my Christmas with my son and one of my guy friends of course. Um, I cooked all day you guys on Christmas day. Not all day but for a few hours I was cooking and doing things like that opening gifts with my son i had a really nice time we went out to um magic lights i want i took him out so he could see all of the beautiful lights and festivities and stuff at night because my son is really big on stuff like that i hope you guys had an amazing christmas um so before i get into all of the the rest you know showing you guys the clips and everything um dossier sent me over another one of their fragrances um this is dossier you guys already know my phone is clicking you guys that i talk about dossier so much it is the iconic sense designer quality no markup i always tell you guys about this i get a lot of compliments on dossier when i go out when i am out and about going about my day i get a lot of compliments on my fragrances and on my perfume and i wear dossier a lot 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 okay um i love the smell of dossier since you guys already know that i have the tom ford lost cherry um the one that's inspired by that i also have the one that's inspired by um baccarat which i wear a lot and berry saffron you guys know that it's like one of my all-time favorites i mean i get tons of compliments on that but they sent me over a new one today you guys and it is called woody chestnut this is such a winter time type of fragrance if you ask me it is of course inspired by um i can't pronounce this last name though it is mason margiela i think and the perfume that it is inspired by is called replica by the fireside okay when I sprayed this on you guys, OMG, it smelled like a real, let me show y'all. Girl, it smelled like a real, I told y'all about their, their tops, right? They're very magnetic like this. So like if you have this in your purse or anything like that, it, you know, you don't have to worry about losing the top or it, or it falling off or something like that. But girl, I've never in my entire life smelled a fragrance like this. This is my first time. I've heard people talk about Replica by the Fireside. So of course y'all already know, I got to try it out at Dossier because they are so, so close to the originals. It is ridiculous. And then when I go inside of a mall, I like to sniff to see, you know, what's the difference or if there is even much of a difference. Cause it's usually not too much of a difference when it comes to Dossier. They are that good, girlfriend. But this fragrance, y'all, oh my God, this smell like a real fire. Like a real fireplace. Like, like, I can't explain it, y'all. It's like, really like, like a candle or a fireplace burning. Like the burn from it. Like you can smell like the burning from it. It really smell like by the fireside. Like, just like it say, right? Girl, that is like, whoa. I have to um, definitely stop. I've never, I've never smelled the original to this, but I'm just telling you what this smells like. Like when I just sprayed it on my skin and how it smelled. And this, I've never smelled the scent like this before. It's the first time I've ever smelled the perfume like this. It does not smell bad at all. It smells really, like I said, it smells like something you would wear now at this time of the season at this time of the year like it's very 
uh, it just reminds you of like a fireplace. It really does. It reminds you of like sitting, like if you go out to like big beer, like a cabin in Colorado and with friends or family and y'all all dressed up and y'all fit have y'all marshmallows and stuff by the fire and y'all little food or whatever and you have on your fragrance this would be the fragrance <laughs> for a like a camping or not a camping but like a a cabin type of vibe with some friends but girl whoo i just got to give those here their props because these fragrances is off of the chain okay I gave my son the Chanel, the one that's it's called Citrus Ginger, I think. It is inspired by Chanel Blue and it is for the men. Uh, uh, you know, it is for men. And I gave my son that for Christmas and he's actually wearing it right now today because he's we sprayed it on this morning. Um, he got it for Christmas, so he's feeling like a big boy, y'all. He got his little fragrance and stuff now. My son growing up, girl, he's six, honey. He getting a little bass in his little voice and he putting on his little cologne, child. <laughs> I love my son, y'all, but he in there right now. He still can't let go of Christmas. He in there listening to all of his little favorite little Christmas songs and stuff on TV. He in there listening to. But I wanted to stop in and tell you about Dulcia. You guys know this is my favorite, 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 favorite perfume spot to get the most amazingest fragrances for a fraction of the cost okay you already know these perfumes are very very expensive they're running from you know over a hundred dollars a bottle the majority of them and you you know y'all know dossier is running from between 29 to 59 dollars 29 to 49 excuse me 50 is the highest i think i've ever seen on their website so yep i had to come by and just tell you guys about my new fragrance i am definitely going to be wearing this I'm going to be doing something on, I'm going to be going out to dinner, supposedly, on New Year's Eve. So, I might pull this out and wear it, girl. I just want to see what my guy friend going to say, girl. What that is you got on, honey? But, yes, y'all. So, y'all don't forget to check out Dossier's website. You can also click my link, of course, as always, and put in Gwendolyn 10 and get yourself 10% off. Okay. okay, so now that we're all done with that, you guys, let me just show you a few little clips of my Christmas, the holiday, and just a few little clips of what I did, and then I'll be right back right after this. you guys I am now about to get ready to um, go and do a few things it's gonna be um, New Year's Eve shortly and I wanted to um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do some shopping just in a few random stores and if I find anything I will definitely come back and show you guys what I got I gotta stop and get some champagne cuz 
it's New Year's and I want to pop some champagne, baby. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do those things and then I'll probably show you guys a few clips of me in some of the stores and then we'll meet back up here later tonight and then maybe I'll just tell you guys a few things that I got, okay? See y'all in a little bit. Okay, you guys, I am out and rolling. I am about to stop inside of Publix and grab me a bottle of champagne for New Year's Day. So, I wanna drink wine, I, it's New Year, so I wanna pop a bottle, y'all. So, I'm about to run in here and look for this. One of my friends um, hit me up today and was telling me about uh, something that's similar to um, Asti Spumati, like it's something similar to that. It's in a blue bottle, so. I'm gonna check to see if they have that up in here. And wait a minute, legend. And then, yeah, I'm about to do that and then I'm gonna see y'all in a few seconds. So this is the wine or the champagne or the Asti that she was telling me about. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this for the new year. It don't look like a champagne pop though. Y'all see that? Um, I see they do got some rose Moet. I'm not really a Moet drinker. And I see some Asti, some Martini and Rossi. So I don't know you guys. This don't look like I'm popping that for this one. So, I'll see. So this is two pieces of art for seventy dollars. It's two pieces. Mm, I kind of like this. This is kind of cute. Um, One thirty. It's like three lights. One, two, three. It's a, it's a stand. Where I'm at on my own Had a couple blocks in the road But I get to the 
coffee thing. Rise and shine is coffee time. Fueled by Jesus and coffee. That's cute. Rise and shine. and shine. Okay. Hmm. like these kind of wax candles they give off the illusion like they are lit they're thirty dollars lit wax candles Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah, you always make me feel like oh yeah, you. You never leave my thoughts alone. Yeah, you. You're the reason I'm going out of my mind. I just can't stop thinking about you. When you're away, nights are sleepless Do we need space? Yeah, maybe a break Boy, you're my weakness Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love What's up, you guys? Welcome back. So, this is the wine that I got from Publix today. Can y'all see that? Because it's like giving off. So, I got this, um... Rosata Moscato di Asti. Um, one of my girl friends told me about this wine. She told me to go in there and get it. So I already tried it, you guys. And remember when I was looking at the top? And I was saying that the top don't look like um, it sparkles or anything. But it actually do. Okay, it does come off like a bubbly, a sparkly type of wine, but it is a wine. Okay, so she knew that I was looking for like a champagne for the new year. And she know that I like wine and she know that I like sweet wine. And she knew that this was a sweet wine that give you the sparkly, bubbly effect like a champagne. But the only problem is, you guys, when I first came home with this wine today, I put it in my freezer immediately because I got it off the shelf at Publix. It was hot. And I wanted it to be cold so I could hurry up and try. Forgot it was in there because I've been home for several hours, you guys. It is late. I already put my son to bed. And um, so um, I think I kind of diluted it because it froze, and which is like an ice. And then it thawed out, which made the ice melt into the wine. So it's still trying to sizzle. So I don't know. I think I'm going to have to get another bottle, you guys. But this wine is amazing. So I want to say thank you, Wendy for um, telling me about this wine. I absolutely love it, girlfriend. 
it would definitely be in my wine collection, honey, yes. Mm -mm. OMG, girl, this is a fire. Okay, but anyway, y'all, let me go ahead and move on with this vlog because this is like the end of the vlog right here. So I'm just gonna go over a couple of things you guys that I picked up from the store. First of all, also when I went in public today, you guys, they had black and white cookies. Girl, where they do that at? Y'all, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all that black and white thing just be flowing, it's like, oh, Gwendolyn in the house, honey, we're gonna make black and white cookies. Girl, you know how much I shop in Publix? I have never in my entirety seen black and white cookies. They literally say black and white cookies, meaning, Mini black and white cookies. Girl, I have never seen nothing like this before, right? I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Black and white cookies. So, when I went up to check out with these, the guy at the register, he was like, oh my God, you're going to hurt yourself with those cookies. Girl, those cookies are so good. Oh my God, you're going to... He, I was like, really, they that good? He was like, yeah, I was like, I ain't never seen no cookies like this before. But he said, girl, they are so freaking good. I think he said they remind him of a, like a chocolate and vanilla. I don't know, I haven't eaten one yet, you guys. It's kind of late, so I don't really want to eat one right now. But anywho, definitely want to have me some treats and stuff for the new year coming in. So I got some of those from Publix. I picked up some simple multivitamin multivitamins for myself for women of course because i am totally out of vitamins i have other stuff up there but just not any more vitamins so i went to oh i also stopped by like another like rainbow you guys i probably didn't even show that in the vlog but i stopped by and y'all know how i like to wear my ponytails and i have like the long ponytails and stuff like that so and y'all know how i like to wear my big loop earrings when i have that ponytail on so, but I bought these, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So when I put my ponytails on, I bought some like squared, squarish looking um, earrings like that. So it came with a mul multiple ones in a pack. And these were only like, girl, y'all know I need glasses, right? $3.99. So they was like $4 for one, two, three pairs of earrings. So these were the ones I was the most interested in, but it came with all of these two as well. So. Yeah, I picked these up from Rainbow, um, just so I could have some more earrings to wear in gold. And then I also picked up this bodysuit, y'all. I got this bodysuit in like an extra large. I like the the colors of it. It has this kind of like um, blingy detail in it. You can see that. It's like a black blingy studs and stuff on it. It's like kind of studded. It feels really, really, um, it feels nice. But yeah, it's a whole bodysuit. It is a long sleeve bodysuit that come all the way down like this with a button. It buttons underneath, of course. So yep, I picked that up too as well. Um, that, that top was like $17, y'all. It was like $17 inside of Rainbow. Oh, so I also found these cute little black and gold slippers. Y'all know I love to wear black and gold. I found these slippers. They were only $8.99. They were very, very cheap, but they look very expensive on my feet, okay? I could not pass these up because they were so cheap, but they are also so cute. I love the gold rope on them like that. They are so cute, you guys. So, of course, I um, kicked these on today. And I've been running around in the stores with these on today. And I took off my heels as I continue to run too much. Like I usually be doing sometimes. So, yep, I wanted to show you guys these. They are so cute. So, I also went to Home Goods and Hobby Lobby today. I didn't find anything in Hobby Lobby, you guys, that I needed. They had some cute little stuff in there but i really didn't need the stuff i'm trying to like cut back on picking up stuff that i don't need because sometimes i do that and i'll be like oh um i style it somewhere in the house or whatever but this time i actually did myself a home decor list saying like what i really need to pick up so for my bathroom you guys i bought these really large soap dispensers like this in this color because this color in this type of aesthetic is gonna go well with my colors in my bedroom. I told you guys they're more they're beige, black and white in my bedroom. So 
So in my bathroom, it's pretty much like, it's almost like all white, but I do have like the beige rugs and stuff on the floor. And so I'm gonna put these in there. I have like a white tray in there right now that I can sit these on. I already popped this one open because I was just trying to smell it. But I can't even, I forgot already what it smelled like. I think it's like a lemongrass type of smell or something like that, y'all. So I also got from um, Home Goods um, these Indigo Loft Luxury Velvet Curtains, okay? These curtains came in 144 inches. All of my curtains are usually around 96 inches long. But I have never seen 144 inches long, you guys. So this is like, it says Indigo Law, and it says Luxury Velvet right here. And it came with a set of two panels. So I bought two sets of these. And um, what I did when I first came in the house, you guys, I wanted to see what it looked like. So I immediately hung one of them up right here on the side of me, on this window right here on the side of me. So here's the other one I already opened and um, I hung it up right here. So I'm gonna let you guys see. I just wanted to see, um, I had black curtains on my list of home decor to get because I wanted to see how good it would look in my house and it absolutely, I love it. And um, so these were the last two left at home goods. They were just sitting there, two, panel, two sets um, it's, it's two in one set, so it's a set of two. So I have four panels. So I already hung two up. As soon as I got in the house, I put two up right here. And then these two are gonna go up in my dining room area. So I'm gonna just let you guys get a quick little clip of the curtains that I hung up. And then I'll be right back to show you the rest of the stuff. Oh, one more thing, you guys. Um, you know what, those those velvet curtains go really well with my velvet pillows too, by the way, because y'all know that my pillows are also black velvet. So they are like a perfect, perfect combo for my living room. But Baby, don't cry no more. Mama's here. Okay, you guys, so welcome back. I also picked up, girlfriend, um, these Nautica Home. Okay, it says Nautica Home. Uh, these are 96 inches long, which is what I normally get, normally get. I bought these for my bedroom, so they are like a long white sheer for my bedroom. And I always usually get this type of um, hook or whatever. However, the black ones don't come like that. They don't have a hook like this. Okay, so, but anyway, so I bought two sets of these and they were $19.99 a piece. Girl, I was like, wow, that is a good deal. $19.99, so I spent, I bought four panels, so I spent $40 on these and I spent 30 and 30, I spent $60 on the black one. So I spent a total of $100 on curtains, girl, okay? But that was something that I needed, so, I ain't gonna complain about that. That's better than just picking up random stuff and don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So yeah, so I bought these. I'm so happy to have these for my bedroom. This is this I need to get. So this is what I was missing in the bedroom. I want to get me a um, fireplace for the wall. And I also um, what else, you guys? Um, I need mirrors. Go back. Get back in the bed. And I also need mirrors, you guys, for the wall. Um, I got to hang the flat screen TV up on the wall that's already in there. Um, yeah, so that's what I gotta do to the bedroom. There's still some more stuff to do, so that's the reason I haven't really given you guys like a tour of my room yet, cause it's incomplete. And as soon as I get it all up, done, and running, then I'll be ready to go. But anyway, y'all, yeah, you guys, so one other thing, I also got me some all white sheet sets in queen, like my bed. Um, this is my second set of white sheets, you guys. So um, I know I'm gonna probably be going through several of these. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna take my white blanket 
that's in my room to the laundromat and wash it because it is actually too big for my um stackable washer and dryer that's here in my house that's the only thing i have to take out of my house to wash because i refuse to take it to a cleaners because it would be so overpriced to get it cleaned that way so i just take it to like the washers they have like the huge big washer where i could just throw that one quilt in wash it and go home yeah, because that's the only thing I have to take out of my house because I do have a washer and dryer here. But I got another set of white sheets. Yeah, but for the bed. So I'm trying to get my little bedroom together, y'all. A bedroom tour will be coming as soon as possible. Okay? Okay. So last but not least, I went to Party City as well. Okay. And I picked up some... Um, I picked up some... Um, I picked up some happy, some new year balloons. So I have the balloons, but I put them away so that my son don't get his hands on them, honey, cause he will pop them things before New Year's Eve, yeah, hell, okay? So I had to hide them away from him. And then I I was picking up some of those cute little party hats when, we, when I first walked in the store, y'all saw me looking at them little party hats. They were only a dollar a piece, which is excellent. And the reason I went enough for party hats only is because I had already picked up these from Walmart like a, a, a day or two ago. So I saw these, but Walmart was wiped out of all of the, the, you know, of course you know they're cheaper than Party City. So they was totally like wiped out. They only had some of these little um, blowers left. So I grabbed one of these. I was like, okay, I'll go to Party City somewhere and just get a hat. But when I went in Party City, they had the hats, but these horns looked at a whole lot better right here. And these horns were $5 for a pack. But when I was getting ready to check out, the lady was like, oh, the, the lady in the front of me, she had this. And this is actually a set for a for four people. So it has four hats in it, two party horns, and also like the little beads that you can put around your neck right here. And the whole pack was $5. So I was like, oh, that's a, that's a good deal in Party City. Because Party City can get a little pricey, girl. They had $10 balloons in them. But my three balloons were only $2 a piece, which is still, um, you could go to Dollar Tree Girl and get dollar balloons. But I don't know if they had New Year balloons. I went near Dollar Tree. I just went on ahead and got it from Party City. But anywho, yeah. So I got this little pack right here. It says 2022. Yeah, I thought it was so cute. So it got the two regular party hats and then they got these kind of two hats right here. So I guess they got four horns and then the beads on the bottom. So, and the whole pack was only $5. So, and it's, it's good for four people. So, I thought this was amazing. A good little steal. Didn't want to spend a lot on stuff like this because uh, after New Year's, it's going in the garbage. But, you guys, I don't party um, like club and stuff anymore for the New Year's, honey. I haven't done that since I was like in my 20s. Like, maybe like y'all, my late 20s going into my early 30s, I stopped going to clubs for the New Year. Um after a certain age i just started going to church <laughs> like going to church bringing the new year in at church and just being very grateful and thankful to god um that i lived to see another year because you know a lot of people pass away or, or die or whatever sometimes before the new year even come in so i just be so grateful you guys and so I totally stopped all of that clubbing when I got to a certain age. You know what they say, when you get older, you get a little bit wiser. So yeah, I've been cut that out, y'all. Like late 20s, early 30s, I stopped clubbing and stuff like that. And I just started going to church at home. And then, you know, even if I'm not in church, like now, like how a lot of the churches have been closed, I just do it from home. So I know this year we're supposed to be going out to dinner um and or something like that my sister's having a birthday party on new year's eve <laughs> i definitely can't make that party um she already know that because i live like an hour away from my old house you know from where i'm from so i won't be driving back a whole hour going home after midnight with the, all of that shooting and stuff on the road it just ain't gonna happen honey so yeah but anyway i want to stop chatting right now y'all because it's very very late and I need to get me, I need to like get this camera turned off and chill out for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I wanna thank you guys for coming by and hanging out with me today. And I wanna say um, Merry Christmas to you guys if I didn't do that. And I'm praying that you guys have an amazing, prosperous new year. 
and may all of your desires and dreams and goals and all of that stuff come to pass girlfriend yes but anywho, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you ladies next year. Good night.